ओम शांति टुडे इज क्रिसमस ईव द ट्वेंटी फोर्थ ऑफ डिसम्बर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू ऑन दिस सैटरडे मॉर्निंग लेट एस लिसन टू द साकार मुरली फ्रॉम आर बिलाविड बाप दादा बाप दादा मधुबन एसेंस स्वीट चिल्ड्रन रिमेन कॉन्स्टेंटली अवेयर दैट दिस इज द लास्ट ऑफ योर एटी फोर बर्थ्स यू नाउ हैव टू रिटर्न होम एंड देन गो इन टू योर किंगडम बाबा इन एसेंस ऑन ट्वेंटी फोर्थ ऑफ डिसम्बर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू सेज स्वीट चिल्ड्रन रिमेन कॉन्स्टेंटली अवेयर दैट दिस इज द लास्ट ऑफ योर एटी फोर बर्थ्स यू नाउ हैव टू रिटर्न होम एंड देन गो इन टू योर किंगडम टूडे वी हैव टू क्वेश्चन द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन हाउ इज द फादर द ट्रू बिजनेस मैन बाबा इज आस्किंग हाउ इज द फादर द ट्रू बिजनेस मैन इन एंसर बाबा सेज बाबा सेज टू दोज हु आर वेल्दी एट दिस टाइम एंड हैव द इंटॉक्सिकेशन ऑफ देयर मनी लुक आफ्टर योर किंगडम हियर द फादर डजेंट एक्सेप्ट एनी थिंग ऑफ देयर्स इट इज द पुअर दैट मेक्स बाबा द हाइस्ट ऑफ ऑल इट इज द पुअर that baba makes the highest of all he uses every penny of the poor in a worthwhile way and makes them wealthy this is why the father is called the true businessman second question which laziness should you children not have at all in answer baba says some children are lazy about reading or listening to a murli they miss murlis baba says children don't become lazy in this you mustn't miss a single murli om shanti the unlimited father asks you children none of the gurus etc would call their followers children nowadays even very good young scholars give lectures and even when older men and women give lectures none of them would have the courage to call anyone child only those who live in a household can say this word that is calling each other a child what is baba saying nowadays even very good young scholars give lectures and even when older men and women give lectures none of them would have the courage to call anyone a child only those who live in a household can say this word the word children belongs to a family a father can say it none of the sanyasis etc belong to a family they belong to the path of isolation therefore they don't have thoughts of household interaction in their intellects surely it is only a mother or father who would say children you also understand that it is the unlimited father who sits here and explains to you children he asks children where is your home we say the supreme land no one would understand anything by supreme land you should say the land of peace the land beyond sound you have to remember your home you know that baba has come to decorate us and take us back home we will then go to the land of happiness this is now a land of sorrow you now have to renounce it no one apart from the supreme father the supreme soul can teach you this unlimited renunciation those people make you have limited renunciation that is they make you renounce your homes and families this is the mother and father how could the mother and father make you leave your homes baba asks us their religion is that of the path of isolation just as there are other religions आर्य समाज राधा स्वामी एक्सेट्रा नाउ हु वॉज द स्वामी लॉर्ड ऑफ राधा बाबा आस्क हु वॉज द स्वामी ऑफ राधा नो वन नोज दिस इन फैक्ट राधे एंड कृष्णा वेर अ प्रिंसेस एंड प्रिंस द टू ऑफ देम वेर फ्रेंड्स ही वुड नॉट बी कॉल्ड राधाज स्वामी वेन ही बिकम्स राधाज स्वामी दैट इज द स्वामी ऑफ राधा देयर नेम्स चेंज and they become lakshmi and narayan shri narayan is the swami he cannot be called swami until he gets married this is something to understand the father asks you children do you remember your land of peace 
and the land of happiness this is the land of ravan a land of sorrow a land is where one resides rama and sita do not live in the land of ravan in fact all of you are sitas the father says i am rama i have to liberate you sitas from ravan's jail the whole world is in the middle of the ocean and ravan's kingdom is over the whole world the kingdom of rama was in the golden age when lakshmi and narayan ruled their kingdom was in bharat however because there were no other lands at that time it is said that they were the masters of the world baba says they were the masters of bharat and there was no name or trace of any other lands so they were the masters of the whole world your kingdom there is by the sweet waters it should remain in the intellects of you children that the play has now come to an end and that you have to return home we have been around the cycle of 84 births nothing enters the intellects of human beings they simply repeat the things that they have heard you know that you have now completed a cycle of 84 births we now have to return home a new cycle will then begin a new one cannot begin in the iron age of the old world a new cycle begins in the golden age all of these things are only explained to you children however children you forget so many things because of not being able to imbibe them your mercury of happiness doesn't rise this is the last of our 84 births we will then go home none of you can return home until you become pure you have to take rebirth those of you who existed at the beginning are here at the end those of all religions are here now at the end of different names forms places and time what is baba saying baba says those of all religions are here now at the end in different names forms places and time the guru nanak soul will again come at his own time he cannot come in the golden silver or copper age he comes in the iron age he will come at his own time and establish that religion what is baba saying the guru nanak soul will come again at his own time he cannot come in the golden silver or copper age he comes in the iron age he will come at his own time and establish that religion incarnations come down number wise and establish their religions the first number incarnation is that of god how does the incorporeal one incarnate he tells you i have taken the support of this costume meaning brahma baba this one doesn't know his own births it is his body it is remembered god came into a foreign land all others go into their own lands and their own bodies baba says yes the founders of religions can come in the bodies of others and their names are then glorified a pure soul would come and enter a body that is already here the soul that is already down here would not establish a religion the new soul who enters would establish that religion it is the soul of the person who is already here that has to tolerate the suffering for instance when the christ soul came he was sato pradhan and so he didn't have to tolerate anything he first has to enter the sato stage therefore the soul that already exists here has to tolerate everything it is the soul that feels the suffering when he is in a body baba says dharmraj will also give punishment by making you adopt a body the soul would feel that he is being punished that is why it is said a sinful soul a charitable soul it is not said a sinful body or a charitable body sanyasis say that souls are immune to the effects of action and that it is the bodies that accumulate sin there are so many types of guru baba has explained many gurus baba used to ask each one of them baba has experienced many gurus 
what is baba saying there are so many types of gurus and baba has experienced many gurus baba used to ask each one of them why have you taken up renunciation why did you leave your home and family they would never tell him therefore i would ask them how can i tell whether i will be able to do it or not baba would speak to them very shrewdly in this way you now understand that it is now the stage of total decay of this whole human world tree it now has to begin a new annihilation doesn't take place they have shown a great annihilation in the scriptures that doesn't take place it is said that sri krishna came on a people leaf floating in the ocean all of those things are lies the father says i come to establish the original eternal deity religion you must always say establishment then destruction and then sustenance you mustn't say establishment then sustenance and then destruction let's hear what baba says about destruction and annihilation baba says annihilation doesn't take place they have shown a great annihilation in the scriptures that doesn't take place it is said that sri krishna came on a people leaf floating in the ocean all of those things are lies says baba the father says i come to establish the original eternal deity religion you must always say establishment then destruction and then sustenance you mustn't say establishment then sustenance and then destruction sensible people who hear you would then say that you are just repeating things like a parrot how could it be establishment sustenance and then destruction this is why you must speak the correct words properly establishment destruction and then sustenance you are now receiving shrimat from the highest on high father he gives it to you through the body of brahma this baba's body is fixed when sensible children want advice they ask for shrimat by following shrimat you will never be deceived shrimat is that of shiv baba baba is not far away the father sees whether your children are moving along in the right way or in the wrong way each of you can receive the surgeon's advice that one is the greatest surgeon meaning shiv baba if there is any difficulty about anything baba is sitting here continue to follow shrimat for instance when a poor child imbibes knowledge well and is serviceable but is unable to come and meet baba because he is poor he can be given a ticket baba says the father is the lord of the poor the father wants children who are the poorest of all and who study and climb very high nowadays all are poor one or two million is nothing if someone has 10 or 20 million he can then be called wealthy baba has explained that millionaires cannot claim this inheritance they cannot surrender themselves nor would baba allow it it is the pennies of the poor that are used in a worthwhile way he is not in desperate need he is also the true businessman meaning shiv baba this is why wealthy ones don't come here the father says to them just continue to look after your kingdom you children now know that baba comes and explains the essence of all the vedas and scriptures to you baba has explained all of those it takes vishnu 5000 years to become brahma and it takes brahma a second to become vishnu no one else would be able to understand these things baba is explaining about such a good account to you brahma has now emerged from the navel of vishnu after 84 births brahma and saraswati will then become lakshmi and narayan they will become the sun dynasty and then the moon dynasty you have the whole cycle in your intellects the topic of how brahma becomes vishnu and how vishnu becomes brahma is very good the significance of the whole cycle is included in that sensible children should be able to imbibe all of these things very well they should continue to write down the points and also correct them 
what is baba saying sensible children should be able to imbibe all of these points very well and they should also continue to write down the points and also correct them when those who are giving a lecture are unable to remember everything they keep their notes in front of them you children have to explain everything orally barristers practice this a great deal then when the opposing barrister argues the case about something he would open his books and refer to that he would then say look judge it says this in such and such book of law the other one would say it says this in such and such a book they have many points with them the intellects of engineers also work well and they think of the plans they have to make you too should think about these things baba advises us baba says you should make a list of topics i will explain these points on this topic all the knowledge will then enter your intellects and you will give accurate lectures if you suddenly give a lecture without preparation you would make a mess of it this practice is also number wise this is why clever ones are invited to go and give lectures they consider that person to be a senior sister among the brothers jagdish is clever they say he is a senior brother and so he should be given full regard it is the duty of older ones to teach the younger ones baba says at school they also teach manners here too you need to have good manners you have to imbibe divine virtues you mustn't become moody those who are sometimes sweet and sometimes something else cannot do service you have to become very sweet explain to others with a lot of love because only then can you receive a good status you have to make everyone happy you know that baba comes and makes all human beings happy he is the bestower of salvation for all the one who gives everyone peace and happiness he is the ocean of love and the ocean of happiness he is your father and so you have to become as sweet as the father you reveal the father every cycle you the shiv shakti pandav army establish heaven it takes time for devilish traits to be transformed into divine virtues how can the rust on souls be removed baba asks and then baba answers with the power of yoga the more you stay in remembrance of baba the more the rust will be removed you children should not miss a single murli many children are so lazy that they don't even read the murlis very good points emerge in each murli therefore you should never miss a murli however baba knows that even very good bks don't care about the murlis they believe themselves to be clever acha to the sweetest beloved long lost and now found children love remembrance and good morning from the mother the father bab dada the spiritual father says namaste to the spiritual children and we the spiritual children say namaste to our spiritual father today's essence for dharna has two points the first point make everyone happy don't become moody become very very sweet learn and teach others good manners second point baba says take advice from the supreme surgeon at every step continue to follow shrimat become sensible and imbibe every point of knowledge today's blessing may you be master knowledgeful and observe each moment of your parts in the drama in the trikaldashi stage blessing once again may you be master knowledgeful and observe each moment of your parts in the drama in the trikaldashi stage baba explains observe every scene while stable in the trikaldashi stage and see what you were what you are and what you are going to become you have a special part fixed in this drama baba says you have a special part fixed in this drama experience very clearly that you were a deity yesterday and that you are going to become that tomorrow 
you have received the knowledge of all three aspects of time. When you stand at the highest point of a city and look down, you have a lot of pleasure in being able to see the whole city. In the same way, the confluence age is the top point. Stand at this point, be knowledgeful and play each part and you will have a lot of pleasure. Finally, slogan for today, those who are constantly yogi yog receive everyone's cooperation automatically. Let's hear the beautiful slogan again. Those who are constantly yogi yog receive everyone's cooperation automatically. Acha Om Shanti.